It's been dubbed the year of the IPO, and as a number of big San Francisco companies go public, many of their employees are turning into newly minted millionaires, and of course, many of them looking to buy a new home. Joining us now to talk more about how this IPO boom might affect the housing market is Michael Friedman, a residential realtor with the Grub Company. Uh, so we're, we're talking about as many as 6,000, maybe even more, new millionaires sort of flooding the market, billions of dollars pouring into the real estate market. What is this going to do to home prices, uh, particularly in San Francisco? Well, the real short answer, and then I guess we can wrap up, is prices will go up. All right. Well, see you later. <laughs> uh, I mean, but how much, how much are home prices going to be, be well, driven here's, up? Well, here's the thing. The money's not going to show up all at once. You know, there's the lockup lock period, and so is the money coming in six months, and how is that working? And who wants, I don't think we're going to suddenly have 6,000 people wanting to buy houses, but our market has always been a robust market, even though 2018 was a little softer than 2017, because there's scarcity. And so now with all this money coming in, a lot of cash money. Sure. And I was going to ask you about that. These are going to be all cash buyers coming in. Pretty much. Does, it, how difficult is it going to be for, for someone else out there looking to try to buy a house in San Francisco to compete with that? Well, right now, about a third of our sales are cash anyway. So the good news is, is two-thirds are not. <laughs> but um, We're going to see a shift there, though. We are definitely yeah. going to see a shift. And uh, what buyers want to buy, what they're buying today are houses that are ready to go. They're younger buyers. They're handier with an iPhone than with a hammer, mm -hmm. and they want something they can just move into. And those are the houses we're getting a lot of attention. Uh, let me ask you, is this going to uh, be more focused in San Francisco, where we see home prices really starting to skyrocket? Um, I mean, do most of these folks who are, are working at these companies that are going public, they're probably going to want to stay in the city? Or are we going to see a trickle-down effect beyond just San Francisco, across the greater Bay Area? Both things are true. We see a trickle-down effect now, and even from 2012, when the market started accelerating and then Facebook came out and it all sort of happened at the same time, sure. there are folks that like the East Bay lifestyle, there's folks that like the San Francisco lifestyle, but there are uh, different opportunities in East Bay. You know, some, some people would say we're, you know, we're starting to see the, the housing markets uh, begin to soften, right? I'm sure you're seeing that. It's mm -hmm. starting to soften a little bit here in the Bay Area. Sales are slowing down. Um, is this going to all of a sudden just kind of like turn things right back around and we're going to heat back up? Well, what's also happened in the last two weeks is that interest rates took a historic drop. Yeah. Half a, what we call 50 basis points, which was like the biggest drop in 10 years. So all of a sudden, buyers buying power has really increased and so we're seeing some buyers that are almost like saying oh before the wave comes with all those millionaires chasing me down I want to jump into the market now but I think if we look at a bigger picture it's going to be tougher for those folks to compete because prices are are going to go up not only on the real expensive properties mm -hmm. but on a lot of young buyers today don't necessarily want the big house they're right. thinking more e ecologically, let me get a smaller one. So that house in Berkeley that's near uh, North Berkeley BART is going to be selling for more because it's cute, it's good, because tra sure. transportation. Are you worried some folks, you know, just average folks, uh, low-income, middle-income folks here in the Bay Area uh, uh, might be priced out forever? Yes. I think um, we're seeing, we've been seeing that for a while. In fact, if you look at all those... Uh, all the building going on in Oakland with 8,000 rental units coming on, mm -hmm. I think the developers are sort of figuring that too. I mean, who's going to fill those rental units? Uh, are the prices going to be affected? Maybe that's a discussion for another time. But uh, it's, it's really hard, especially for the folks in the services, the cops, sure, sure. the teachers. It's challenging. Really challenging. Yeah, it's a very tough market and only going to get tougher. All right, we have to leave the conversation there. Michael Friedman, realtor with the Grub Company. Appreciate you coming in to talk about Thanks, this. Thanks, Alex. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Heather?